As you might have seen, AI now has the ability to play games like chess, perform protein folding, or even help me with my homework. But when it comes to more intricate tasks, the AI sometimes doesn't quite do or learn what we intend it to. So today I'll tell you about reward hacking, where AI agents find unexpected and naughty ways to achieve their goals. Just kidding, it isn't that serious. Yet. The easiest way to think about this concept is through AI agents playing a game. Let's say Super Mario. It's me, Mario. The agent does this through a reinforcement learning algorithm. If the agent is Super Mario, and the environment is the ground that Mario runs on with different mystery boxes and a tunnel, the reward system just looks at the score. We can say that this is the amount of coins that Mario collects because usually you collect more coins the more you progress in the game. So the agent takes an action, the action affects the environment, the change in the environment creates new observations and also provides new information to the reward system which decides what reward to give the agent. And then the agent uses the observation and the reward to choose what to do next. This keeps going in a cycle. Now, reward hacking is a class of problems that can happen around the reward system. And here, the agent maximizes this reward in unexpected ways. In this scenario, Super Mario might just keep jumping up and down to hit the mystery boxes with the coins in it and then collects them again. It may seem that the game is progressing because Super Mario is collecting the coins, which is maximizing the reward function that we set. But in fact, it's just not moving at all. If we look at another scenario with AI systems, specifically my friend Sam, we can see how this is applicable in the real world. Let's say we had a robot designed to pick up trash. Its reward system gives it points for every piece of trash it collects. However, to maximize rewards, the robot might start tearing up a single piece of paper into multiple smaller pieces to increase the amount of items it can collect, rather than truly cleaning up. Currently, people in the industry are trying new methods to solve this reward hacking issue, including my work with PhD students from Berkeley and Stanford. Some of these methods are having multiple reward signals, having another agent check the current agent's actions and rewards based on the anticipated future states to predict that the AI agent doesn't do any bad long-term planning. Overall, the goal of this research is to make helpful, honest, and harmless AI, and I'm excited to see where the work in this space goes.